Right. This video is for the disabled um, iPod Touch. Um, I've literally just finished undisabling this iPod Touch, um, and it's worked, which is good. Um, I'm going to run through how I did that and exactly what you need to do as well. Um, the problem I had with it to start with was basically I got this off of my mate who forgot his password and ended up getting it disabled and a message every time I turned it on said um, I put disabled try again in like two million days or whatever it is which works out to be about eight years uh, so I ain't gonna wait that long so I did what I thought I had to do which was to start with what you need to do is make sure you switch off your iPod um, by pressing this top button here hold that down until the slide button comes along which will be something like that um, while well, we at the top slide it along to turn off and that should sh hopefully shut it down completely um, once it's shut down what you need to do is you need to make sure you've downloaded or you have the latest version of iTunes um, if you don't it won't work so make sure you do um, then once you've downloaded the iTunes open it up make sure everything's synced or let it do whatever it has to do um, until it's ready for an iPod to be connected then what you need to do is you need to plug the opposite end to this so plug this bit into your computer so don't plug this in leave this out for the moment um, so plug in your USB into your laptop or computer and leave it there um, then what you need to do is you need to hold down this button for two seconds then plug this in straight away so hold it for two seconds then plug it in or not even two seconds just hold it down then plug this in at the same time but don't let go of this button so once you plug this in keep holding this button down until a the apple sign comes up then carry on holding it down so don't let go of it then and a picture of the iTunes um, like the library and this connection will pop up you can let go of the button then and then on your iTunes your, late, your most latest up, updated um, version of iTunes a message will pop up saying um, uh, would you like to reset your settings or restore your settings back to factory mode click on yes and then click on restore um, once you've done that it should take about five minutes to sort of synchronize or restore its settings um, and then hopefully it should be alright for me though I did this the same exact same thing what I just said I had to do it twice before it worked um, first couple of times it came up with like a network connection error or some some problem an error occurred but the third time I tried it it was downloading and it was resetting its, it was restoring its settings and it finally worked um, what I'm currently doing at the moment is transferring all my music onto this iPod and the person who gave it to me to work is not getting it back because it took me too long to work it out so Hopefully for you, if you are in the same situation as me, it will work, I'm pretty sure it will. Um, leave some comments on this video, um, let me know if it worked or not, if it didn't, I'm sorry, your iPod's budget, um, if it did then good, it's all good. Um, yeah, so leave me some comments, give me some good feedback and let me know how it happened. Thank you.